drove it too goddamn hard down into that turn. That's gonna hurt us. Welcome back to NASCAR 14, uh, where we're doing things a little bit different today. I've got the face cam up because you guys have requested it. I've listened. There it is. Um, we are using a setup by uh, a guy named uh, TKO. I will put the um, I will put that uh, setup in the description. I just ran uh, seventh, I believe is what we're starting and qualifying because I forgot to put the setup in. Not a big deal. Um, car still was, you know, it was still doable. Uh, set up custom. There is Richmond TKO. Looks good. Uh, by TKO, I will put that in the description. Um, and we will be starting seventh. Uh, I'm very comfortable with this track. I do like this track. Unlike Bugs, he didn't like this track. I liked it. Like, he liked Darlington, and I didn't like Darlington. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I listened to you guys. You guys wanted to see a face cam when I'm driving. You can actually see the wheel a little bit. Um, and, uh, you know, let me know in the comments uh, below if you like the face cam. If you guys want to see more face cam, let me know. Um, I'm more than, you know, more than happy to, uh, to, to put it in there. I, I, I have no problem doing that. So, uh, let's get out there and see what happens. Uh, I'm pretty, uh, confident in this race. Uh, I felt the car was just great in practice. So we'll see what happens. All righty. Starting, uh, right outside my brother, Kyle Bush, which, well, which bugs his uh, favorite car. Um, so let's do this. Watch this restart here. Want to spin the tires too much, but also we don't want to give up too much weight. Three wide already, Jesus. Oh, I missed the shift there. That's going to hurt us. But you know what? We're just going to have to take it nice and easy in the beginning and just feel our momentum. I don't want to get into a situation I don't want to get into, you know? Yeah, they're three wide already. Jesus. Boy, they're just blowing by me on the inside line there. We need to get down there if we can. If we can clear Joey Logano like that, that's what we need. It's the only way we can be competitive is by that inside line just like that. Watch Austin Dillon on the outside. Three wide off. Let's watch Marcos. Let's beat him into the corner. Yeah, we got a little bit low the yellow line there, but, you know, like bugs, I love to run that low line and uh, in, into uh, turn four. So sometimes you just got to do that. So let's find our momentum. We got... Blown by because we were on that outside line. That outside line is really hard here. Oh, shit. Hang on to her. Hang on to her, Jeff. Jesus. All right. Let's take it easy here. Man. Run really low there. All right. Man, this traffic is just fucking crazy right now. Got shuffled back to 25th. Did not expect that from a seventh start. We hit a cone there. That probably isn't going to help us. Yeah, I know. We're three wide in the middle. Yes, we are. Oh, damn. Shoved me a little bit there. Who was that? Larson? I do like Kyle Larson, though. On the real circuit. Let's just kind of get down into this turn a little bit better than we have. Let the car kind of feel it out here. It's uh, starting to get on the little tighter side, which is good. Uh, it was really loose in practice. Shit, that's going to hurt us. Hang on to her. Hang on to her, Jeff. No, 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 no. There's the spin. Caution out. That was my fucking fault. It's totally my fault. Drove it too goddamn hard down into that turn. That's going to hurt us. That's going to hurt us. Well, I think the car's fine, so we're not going to pit. People think I'm crazy. It's only, it's only been five laps. I'd rather not get the car all... Well, you know what? Fuck it. We are coming in. We're last in line. We're the last in line! Dio reference. Um, last in the line. Let's just go in there, get uh, f four fresh tires. Uh, maybe making it. I don't even really make to make any adjustments. Maybe an air pressure adjustment on the left side helps turn a little bit. Let's take a half around out the uh, left sides. Uh, so left, yeah. Let's do that. Um, we're gonna do four tires. Okay, let's get this front left. Out. Let's go. Oh, it's all the way down to twelve. Uh, we can raise the right sides. Right, left. Let's go to 12.5. Uh, right rear up to 13.4. Repair it. Yes, we do. Fuel. Don't care about it. Rubbers. Uh, I don't want to add a rubber. I'm not really happy with that. Let's do 45 on the tape. Let's do this, guys. Okay, we need to be fast here. In and out. Let's, go. Let's try to get this car a little, little more settling into these turns. I had a, I dro overdrove the shit out of it into that corner. I don't. I shouldn't have done that, but we all make mistakes. We do, we do. 
Well, I'm not like I'm now I'm like Bugs' uh run where I'm in the tail of the field. So that's awesome. Kurt did, uh, didn't do too well here uh, Saturday night. I don't know if you guys watched the race. So, shit happens. All right, we're back here by Danica and the Bull Boys show. Get ready to do this. Let's be on our marks here on the restart. Want to be nice and smooth. Don't want to miss a shift like that. There we go. All right, now let's just kind of run our line and see what happens here. We're going to be a lot faster than these guys in the rear. I already know that just because of the practice. Danica, I'm going to have to shove you out of the fucking way if you're not going to you're gonna have a check up like that on me again. That's just bad for us. You're holding us up. There we go. Car feels great on four fresh tires, as it always does. Let's get around Nima check. Maybe we'll get uh, the 54 car. Uh, maybe not. Oh, nice run off of a net there. And everybody just blew past me. That's what happens when you have a really fast setup compared to them. You just blow by them on the, on the straights. And Richmond is a tough track. It's, it's kind of tough to pass here. Uh, you've just got to really beat people off the corners. Oh, yeah, that tire pressure adjustment was perfect. I hesitated on the gas a little bit. I didn't want to run in the back of Landon Castle. All right, back down here on the yellow line and back in the gas. Okay, let's watch out for McDowell here. We'll run up next to him, though. We still need all of that track on the high side there to uh, properly enter the corner. That's the reason why I run really high up against those guys like that. I'm not doing it to be a dick. I'm just doing it for position. Uh, Gilliland, you're just going to have to fucking move out of the way. If he doesn't, I'm going to move him out of the way myself. That's just how that works. So that's why I'm running up next to these guys right here on the front wall like that, because you just got to, to, to get into the corner correctly. Chase Elliott's next. And those of you who don't know it, they're in the nine car, Chase Elliott, he's the, uh, one of the youngest guys in NASCAR. Uh, he's only 18 years old. Isn't that fucking crazy? I think that's pretty crazy. Okay. Just nice and gentle here. Let's just be smooth and calm and Watch out. There's Casey Mears. I don't know if you guys watched the race on uh, Saturday. Marcos Ambrose, the nine car and the 13 there. They got in a huge fight because Casey Mears ran into the back end of him. Uh, I think more than once. And then he grabbed a hold of uh, Marcos Ambrose and Marcos Ambrose used a right hook right to the face. Just it'd be interesting to see this week what happens with that because NASCAR is pretty big on penalties when drivers fight each other. You can't lay hands on each other. All right, let's get around uh, David Rudiman here. Oh, sorry, Rudiman. Did not mean to do that. I didn't think it was going to come down that much. I was hard on the brakes. Uh, he might come back and pay us back. Who knows? Let's just work on uh, work on our laps here and, and, and our traffic. I don't know if you could tell. We have smoke coming out the back of our car because we are driving a hell of a lot more aggress aggressively than we normally do when you're, you're normally used to seeing me. Uh, I think not being aggressive in us so far in this season has cost us some races. Um, I just haven't uh, been that aggressive with the car. I've just been kind of uncomfortable with it. Uh, this setup here, I was pretty happy with it. Okay, I'll say hi. Um, pretty happy with the setup and the feel of the car, and I love this track. So I, um, I'm a lot more aggressive than normal on the gas and the brake. And in practice, I, 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 and what's funny is in practice, I did run with bugs. We ran practice here over the uh, past week. And uh, and I learned a lot of, from him, and he learned some from me. I, I thought he was way better than me in practice. Uh, but uh, in the race, it just didn't seem like he had those marks like he had in practice. But uh, a lot of that's chalked up to the braking zones. Uh, he helped me with the braking zones. And found, I found that he was beating me because I was braking way too early and I was losing a lot of speed. So that extra practice really helped us in the long run. So got to thank Bugs for that. It's fun to uh, to practice with other drivers because you get to learn a lot, you know? And just being smooth on a wheel here is what it's all about in, in, in out breaking these guys into the turn, but without running into them or running up the track. Like, like that, shit, we were loose as a fucking bitch there. All right, nice and easy here. I better watch out. I don't want Marcos Ambrose to punch me in the face. Too soon. Yeah, I know. We're fine off with Smith here. Reagan Smith. Oh, 
Oh, she's malicious. What did I do there? I fucked up when I crossover move. But I'm going to get back. Oh, I didn't know you were down there, Larson. Sorry, buddy. I'll give it to you. That's totally your spot. I'm a little tighter than you in that turn anyway. But I will do the crossover on you. That's for sure. Nice and fast here. And see, what la last time you saw me get really loose because I was so hard on the brakes. Man, Larson is driving us good here. He's racing us nice and good. We're at the halfway mark. Let's just keep doing our thing here. I'm going to give him room to race. I don't want to run into him down there. There we go. Nice and smooth here. Back into the brakes. And the, the, yeah, that's the thing, though. If you run that line too high into the turn you will be fucked you just cannot you cannot be competitive unless you're on the bottom of the corners that's just the way it works here and i feel like i'm i'm fighting for 26th well i actually am and here's something that we, we haven't been doing is allowing the car to oh shit did he get into me no i don't know what happened there i got really loose we need to get a little more aggressive on the fucking wheel instead of allowing these guys to do this shit to us. All right. A lot harder in the brakes than normal there. Let the car in the nice and easy. Back in the gas. I fucked up that turn. We're just good in some spots, and some spots we're just not. I feel like we don't have a lot of speed anymore. The car's just tightening up like a motherfucker. Well, let's... Let's try to learn from our mistakes and work on that a little bit more. Come on, drive it off, baby. Drive it off like that. I don't mean to drive you guys three wide, but it just needs to be done. <laughs> well, I wasn't driving three wide, but two wide there. That wasn't bad. And three wide uh, at Richmond wasn't very uncommon in the real race Saturday. That wasn't, it was the most incredible racing I've seen by the uh, Gen 6 uh, thus far. It was just insane. Five drivers at the very end with like 16 laps to go. Even if you're not in a NASCAR, just YouTube um, the Richmond 2014 race uh, the, and just watch the final laps. It was unbelievable. Five cars, three wide, just door to door. It was so good. And Joey Logano, he, I mean, he deserved to win. He had, he had such a good car, in it, and he just drove the shit out of that car. It was so good. I was going for Jeff Gordon at the end. I do like Jeff, you know. I've liked Jeff since, like, 1997. Even though Kurt Busch is my favorite driver, you know, Jeff Gordon was the guy back then, and I still like Jeff. I, but the thing is, is, like, there's not a lot of drivers I don't like. Like, I'm not a Harvick fan. I just think he's kind of an asshole. Um... But, like, there's not a lot of guys I don't like, so. Um, I'm just, I don't know. I'm an empathetic person, so. I just root for the underdogs. I love, like, Kyle Larson there in the 42 in front of us. Like, I'm not even mad that he's beating us in this game right now because he just, the kid is incredible. He's like the uh, the, ne the next Jeff Gordon for sure. He's, he's damn good. He's He's been running, uh, this is his first year rookie in the Sprint Cup Series. And uh, he's finishing top tens at Auto Club at California. He finished second. I mean, what an incredible job that guy's been doing, that kid. And, and his story is incredible because he started in go-karts. Um, uh, and his dad told him, you know, it's, it's going to be on talent. We can only afford go-karts, so... Uh, he got like a ride into sprint, or, like the sprint cars. Then he got uh, not these, but like the other little smaller ones with the wings on top, dirt track racing and stuff like that. And uh, just off of his talent, he got picked up in the nationwide, and he just was doing amazing in nationwide. So the 42 team, yeah, we did because we're, we're focusing. Uh, the 42 team just, you know, they 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 recognized the talent when they saw it and they scooped him up and I. And I've just been going for the, you know, rooting for the kid all, all, uh, all season so far. I'm a Kurt Busch fan, but man, I'm telling you what, Kyle Larson is is just winning my heart. That kid is just so incredible. So, if you guys don't know much about him, you know, YouTube him. 
Kyle Larson and uh, and check out his story. I mean, just incredible stuff. The kid can just come in here and drive a 750 horsepower car like it's not a fucking problem at all. And you know what? This is Danica's second year, or not second year, but it's it's her time to. Uh, oh, oh, I don't want to wreck him, but I want to race him. Uh, oh, let's be a little patient there. Um, Danica's, you know, she has time to try to prove herself, and she just hasn't. Uh, I, and I don't think it's the team. I don't think it's the cars. They're giving her great cars, but she's just not delivering on the promises of, uh, you know, what what you'd, you'd think. So Danica's kind of sucking it up this year so far. I mean, she she's not the worst one out there, that's for sure. But she's not doing uh, amazing. She's But she's got an awesome car, and this, the Stuart Haas team is just fantastic, but they're just... I think she's just not aggressive enough. Doesn't want to get up on that wheel. She doesn't race well next to other people. She just kind of wants to fall in line, which, believe it or not, NASCAR's not all about winning races, um, especially for the, the smaller guys and the underdogs. I mean, they're just out there, you know, doing doing a good job with their of their sponsor, not tearing the car up, being out on the track, getting that uh, TV time. That's what it's all about. So... All right, we're, we're starting to feel off the track a little bit better here, but I, I don't think we're going to be any better than 25th or 24th. I don't know. Don't want Danica to beat us, but, you know, not a lot we can do. <laughs> not a lot we can do. We were able to salvage the car a little bit better. I wish we would have had this uh, adjustment of the air pressure in the beginning, but what are you going to do? Can't win them all. Cannot win them all. Turn in there. Get back in the gas. See, we're just running a much better line this time around. That's a lapper anyway. We're not getting a position off of him. There's no fucking way. Oh, loose is a bitch coming off of that one. That was my fault. You saw I got down on the uh, apron and almost lost her. Nice and easy here. Yeah, uh... Leave a comment below if you guys um, would be interested in a series uh, of me trying out uh, F1, because F1 2013 looks awesome. And uh, I got the paddle shifters here on the G27. I think I would really enjoy doing that. Uh, I put it on a wish list on Steam. Um, but, you know, if I get paid and I have a little extra money, maybe I'll pick it up. I think it would be cool for you guys that love the uh, road racing and love F1. Because I just love racing in general. I'm not one of those people that's like, NASCAR over F1 or whatever. 25th. Wasn't our best, but, um, you know, we, we got it together. Making that uh, air pressure adjustment on the right side really helped us out. So, 25th um, under the lights here at Richmond. And um, next week is uh, Talladega, which I'm looking forward to. Um, since we do that in our racing, like Bug said, um, we run really well at uh, restricted plate races. So, Excited to do that, and uh, we'll see you next week.